Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I love all things makeup, skincare, beauty, and fun. Today we're going to be talking about the new makeup releases and I'll give my two cents and commentary based on what I think. If you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel down below and without any further ado, let's go. So the first thing that I see is a new palette from Shroud Cosmetics. This is their Peaches and Dream palette. This is um, said to feature their signature velvet matte formula in five vibrant shades and five ultra shifty and ultra sparkly shimmers. There's also these um, peach milk carton earrings, which are super cute. They're made from acrylic and hung on nickel free hooks. Each charm is approximately one and a half inches. This is launching on 6.30 at 12 p.m. PT. I admittedly still have not tried Shroud Cosmetics. Um, I don't see any pricing on here, which is not ideal. Shroud tends to be kind of that mid price range. I think this palette is super pretty, super cute. I think it's like perfect theming for summer. So this is definitely on my radar and something I'm interested in picking up. It looks like vitamin c beauty is coming out with a foundation this is their liquid skin foundation um, it's supposed to be waterproof full coverage and includes spf 15 11 full coverage shades and it retails for 12 dollars each that's a super like as far as the claims go i feel like that's super promising and the price point is quite right in my humble opinion i am curious to try this that being said I'm not really sure where to access this palette. So that is something I'll probably need to look into a little bit more. I've said this numerous times, especially in these videos where accessibility is one of those things that's really important to me. If I can access them pretty readily and be able to access multiple brands slash products at the same time, that's definitely going to be the way that I'm going to um, retrieve or pick up products, I'm less likely to seek out one-off products from a brand that I'm not super familiar with. Um, so I'm interested in this. It looks promising or it sounds promising, I should say, as far as claims go. The shade range is not great. That being said, it is an indie brand. So I'm curious to see like I guess how they do this in the future because foundations is definitely one of those things in my humble opinion that I can see how an indie brand would really struggle to do well as far as a shade range because obviously resources are much more limited than they are for a big conglomerate. Um, but I'm curious to see how they're gonna kind of play this in the future because certainly this is not this shade range is not going to suit everybody. Um, so I'm just kind of curious as to how they're gonna do that. But I am interested in trying it if I can readily access it. It looks like there is a new collection from Gloss Gods. So let's see here. This is the Changing Skies Eyeshadow Palette Collection. Um, two new sky palettes, um, each have 12 shades. The Color of Rain Effect Palette has 11 finishes in different formulas and one intense matte black. Um, and then Lavender Skies Remix Palette is inspired by the Midnight Sun. Um, lots of different colors there. So from the swatches, it kind of looks almost like those are pressed glitters, but then in the swatches, like not so much in the pan, but in the swatches, they don't look as much like pressed glitters. What's kind of tricky is that it doesn't really say necessarily if they are pressed glitters. It looks like there's a lot of beautiful shifty shades. I'm definitely into this collection i'm not i'm also not seeing a price point which is not super helpful because that of course is like a super determining factor is whether i'm going to pick things up or not it's a super cute collection i don't know that it's an absolute must have right now for me just because there are, i'm behind on like all the new launches that i want to have in my collection so i kind of need to get caught up before i'm like exploring new brands and new collections in that way um this is new it is the death goddess highlighter palette so they are shimmery neon iridescence from notice beauty it's super pretty and it looks like it's going to be like a really intense metallic highlighter that's going to have a little bit more of a colorful shift i really enjoy colorful highlighters for the most part 
That being said, I do have a decent amount of them in my collection right now from brands that I know and love. I'll be honest, I don't know Notice Beauty. <clears throat> These swatches really do look lovely and it looks like something that I could be into. But right now where my collection stands and where my priorities as far as like spending money and adding products to my collections go, this is not high on that just because I do have a multitude of colorful highlighters in my collection right now that I love and deserve to be shown love. So I don't want to have too many to where it's oversaturated and I'm not able to play with all of them. So this is beautiful. I can absolutely see who wants this, myself included, and I have to use self-control and say no. Official Spellbound Beauty has a new palette. It is their Coven Eyeshadow Palette. This is going to retail for $30 and it is found on their Etsy shop. It's going to include 15 shades and featuring nine duochromes, four mattes, and two mattes with a slight shimmer. This is really pretty, um, but it's not for me. The palette is giving more fall slash winter vibes. So right now I'm just not really looking for a palette with this color story. So it's an easy pass slash bye bye for me. Um, but it is cute. I'm interested in seeing what else um, official Spellbound Beauty has in store for us. Um, it does, again, it does say that it's only available on their Etsy shop. So it seems like they're a super small indie brand. Um, so I'm not really sure what like stocking looks like and stuff like that, but cute palette. I love that it has duochromes. The $30 price point is very fair in my humble opinion. It's just not for me right now. This collection has already launched, but I just wanted to bring it up real quick in case you haven't seen. Glamlight collaborated with Rick and Morty and they have a full collection. So there's a setting spray for $15. Duochrome highlighter trio is going to retail for $18. Um, there's an accelerated time lip kit for $14, a hologram lip kit for $14, and then a 30 shade palette for $36. I, I'll be honest, I've never seen Rick and Morty. I have friends that absolutely love this show. My gatherings from what I've heard other people say is that it's like similar as far as like the type of humor to like American Dad or Family Guy. I love Glamlight and I know nothing about Rick and Morty. So this is not like a collection that's like screaming at me. I'm sure that there's people out there that are like so jazzed about this. The price points are really quite good. Um, you can get the whole kit and caboodle for $90 and certainly there are people out there that have um, shopping codes with Glamlight so you can save a little bit of money there. I probably will try to pick up a couple of pieces from the collection if I can't get my hands on the bundle. Glamlight is one of those brands that they really do like create such top-notch quality products. I did see Angelica Nyquist um, has already reviewed this collection and it looks like the setting spray is kind of an intense spray. Um, so it's like I'm kind of torn because like I want to buy the whole thing just because I love Glamlight and I want to support them and the eyeshadow palette specifically looks beautiful and like, do I need it? You know what I mean? I'm not sure. I'm not convinced that I do. I might end up picking it up just because it's glam light and because the color story looks beautiful, but it's like in my smart mind, I know I don't need this. I know I don't need this, but my emotional mind wants this. Speaking of things that you might have already heard about, um, but it is coming out very soon. It's coming out June 30th. This is by Blend, Bu Blend Bunny, and this is their Sugar and Grunge eyeshadow palette. It's going to have 24 shades featuring mattes and shimmers. It's going to be um, at that $41 price point, which I think is pretty fair. I really enjoy Blend Bunny's palettes in general. I'm a little torn on this because so here's the thing I love this color story and it's very likely that I am going to pick this up but I kind of feel like they have done um kind of these rows where they're gradients multiple multiple times and so some of them are starting to like almost blend together in my mind and it could just be me right like I'm certainly I'm not trying to say that like they're unoriginal or like this is so lame I'm saying this as someone that like actively wants to buy the palette what I am saying though is that like I feel like they're kind of getting muddled in my mind as far as they're they're doing these same kind of gradient rows so I'm trying to like keep it all straight um, in my mind but I do definitely think I want to pick this up the ones that I'm the most 
attracted to in this palette is that top row where it's like those pastel neon shades those look really special um and blend bunny has a really special in my humble opinion matte and shimmer formula that i really enjoy so this is one that i'm definitely going to buy even though i know i don't need it i'm definitely going to buy it it looks like Smashbox is coming out with a new foundation. This is their always on skin balancing foundation with hyaluronic acid and adaptogens. Um, so it says that it's going to be an innovative long range foundation with skin balancing, oil control, and hydration that supports the skin instantly and over time. Buildable coverage for a visibly even natural look. 16 hour wear. 29 shades at $46. This is definitely something that I'm interested in. I have combination skin and I'm 33 years old. So having that balance of like being able to or alleging that they're able to help me control my oil while also ensuring that my skin is hydrated sounds like the perfect combination to me. Um, <clears throat> it does say that it's going to have medium to full coverage. So again something that i'm super interested in 46 dollars is a little steep but like it's also on par for the course for smashbox they're a higher end brand so definitely when this is available i will be trying this out um kim kardashian tweeted some things it sounds like her beauty brand and skincare are all going to be now found on the skin website. It seems like she's trying to condense a bit as far as like all of her brands are not like on this website and this website and this website. So it sounds like she's going to be bringing back her cosmetic line and it's going to be under the skin name going forward. Um, she said that it's going to be coming out in sometime in 2023. So as I know more, certainly I will share more. But um, for folks that really enjoyed Takey W Beauty, this is probably pretty exciting because I feel like the brand has been gone for years at this point. I'll be honest, KKW Beauty <clears throat> was never a brand that I was like chomping at the bit to try and play with. A lot of it was like very neutral and the formulas from what I heard were nothing to write home about. So I'm not like jazzed about this. But I know that there is like a calling for this. I know there's a group of people out there that really enjoyed her cosmetics line, really enjoy her skincare line. So this is probably for those girlies and not so much for me. So for me, it's a pass. But for people that are excited about it, I'm happy for that. So Barbie has, of course, collaborated with several beauty brands. This one is by Kitsch. Um, so there's going to be a whole slew of hair products. Um, there's a heatless curling set that's going to retail for $20, a rhinestone claw clip for tw uh, 14, an assorted set of clips for 12, satin brunch scrunchies for 16, recycled nylon elastics for eight, and then um, satin pillowcases for $22 each. I definitely want to pick up a couple pieces from this collection. I'm actually the most interested in the heatless curlers these are available now on ulta so um i definitely plan to pick up at least a couple pieces from this hair collection i just think it's super cute and novelty i'm super jazzed about the barbie movie and i'm also super jazzed that all of these brands are now collaborating with barbie um i just i just love her i love her aesthetic so this is a yes for me uh, Mooncat Polish is collaborating with Alice in Wonderland um, and they are creating this whole set which is super exciting. They have six new special effects lacquers that are going to retail for $15 each. Um, it's also going to offer nail stickers for $12 each a shape shifter for $10. And then if you wanted the whole kit and caboodle, the collector's box is going to be $114. I'll be honest, um, if I'm painting my nails, which is not the most frequent, I have like a couple polishes that I go to more often than not, I'm doing some kind of a gel polish on top of my nails and or um, an acrylic nail. So for me, this doesn't make a lot of sense as far as like what I or how I rather typically do my nails. That being said, I've heard really good things about Mooncat Polish and I can see how this collection and these colors fit really beautifully together like Alice in Wonderland and Mooncat is already known for like really special shifty nail polishes. So I can absolutely see how this is super exciting for some folks. It's just not for me. 
Now available at Ulta, it looks like Essence has put out their Positive Vibes Only collection. So there's an eyeshadow palette for $4.99, a baked highlighter also going for $4.99. Um, there's a couple of color changing blush sticks for $4.99 and then a color changing lip glow for $3.99 and then finally a lip mask for $2.99. This is a super cute collection. That being said, for me, it feels very juvenile, um, and I think that the intended audience is people that are not in their 30s, and that's okay, right? Like, it's okay that not every launch is, like, made for me, um, but that being said, this launch was definitely not made for me. It's not something that I am, like, chomping at the bit to get my hands on, so it's an easy pass, an easy bye-bye. But I do think it's cute and I think the price point is just right. So if you have somebody that is younger that is like just getting into makeup or like likes minimal makeup, I can see how this would be a total slam dunk. Sticking on theme with Barbie, NYX also collaborated with Barbie and this collection is now available at Ulta. So they have these mini eyeshadow palettes that are going to retail for $12 each. There's a mini cheek palette also $12 each. There is a butter gloss for six dollars um the jumbo lashes are going to retail for 12. there is a barbie jumbo eye pencil kit for 12 dollars. you're going to get both the pink and the blue shade um and then the barbie flip phone mirror for 18 dollars. that's so cute um a super cute collection i was looking admittedly on ulta this morning and it looks like some of these pieces are already sold out which is a bit of a bummer um so I admittedly have not checked NYX's website to see what is still in stock, but I would encourage you to head over there or check out Ulta and just kind of see like what is still available. I feel like Barbie is like one of those brands that like is so nostalgic for so many of us and just like keeps a piece of our heart so I can see how these collections are going to go pretty quick, you know, and the movie like people are super excited for the movie. So I feel like these are going to go pretty quickly, but I do want to get my hands on just like a couple pieces from the Kitsch collection and also the NYX collection. Westman Atelier has come out with a couple of new things. Um, they have a Beauty Butter Matte Bronzer in a new shade. So they've already had bronzers available, but they have this new shade that's going to retail for $75. Um, and then they also have the Liquid Super Loaded All Over Illuminator Drops with Vitamin C for $58. Um, Westman Atelier is a super high-end luxury brand. Their price points are super high-end, super luxury. I have a couple pieces from um, their main line and I really enjoy them. That being said, this bronzer shade was not meant for me and these liquid, um, looks like basically liquid highlighter drops are also just not something that I'm on the market for. Also, even if I was on the market for them right now, that $58 price point is just not the most appealing to me. Um, I, again, I have some of their pieces. I enjoy them, but like this launch is just not for me. Um, available now, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Highlighting Blush. So it's a two-in-one blush and highlighter that gives the rosiness of a blush with the lit from ink with ink glow of a highlighter in one step. Um, these are $26. I'm not sure. It says available now. I know that they've been available on QVC, but I'm not confident. They must be maybe now available on their website, maybe in Ulta. Again, I was just on Ulta's website this morning and I admittedly didn't see them, but that being said, I wasn't looking for them. So, um, but at any rate, if you are trying to get your hands on these, they're definitely available on QVC. I suspect also on Bare Minerals website and they do retail for $26. ColourPop has come out with some new bronzing sticks as well as highlighting sticks. Um, each of them are going to retail for $10, which is, I think a really nice price point. Um, the highlighter sticks, highlighter sticks, I'm typically not like a super fan of. I just find that they're not my favorite to blend out and I typically like in the summer it's much less prevalent but year round I tend to powder my entire face and I find that trying to blend out a cream highlighter has not been like my most favorite experience so those are going to be a pass for me but the bronzer sticks I'm definitely interested in I haven't seen anyone talk about these yet but it does look like they might be Yes, they are available now. They released June 22nd, so you can check these out on the ColourPop website. Dior is sneak peeking their fall 2023 collection. It looks like they have a new blush, some eyeshadow 
um, palettes and then it, I can't quite tell what those two bottles are if they are it says Dior Vernus, which means nothing to me. Um, I can't tell if they're supposed to be nail polish or if they're supposed to be highlighter. At any rate, none of these are speaking to me. I don't th I think this is another one of those things that it's aimed at a very different age category than I'm in. I suspect that the individuals that are interested in this are either slightly older than I am or significantly older than I am. I am just not really picturing millennials, Gen Z, and younger to be like chomping at the bit for this release. I'm sure there's outliers in that, but I, again, I just don't think it's aimed at me. Um, I don't see any price points and I don't see a specific release date, but as we get closer, I will try to keep you informed. Givenchy is also um, showing us their fall 2023 collection. It's a little bizarre to me that they're showing these things in June like li literally the first day of summer was last week. So it's a little bizarre to me, but I digress. Um, this includes the Prism Libre brush, uh, excuse me, blush, and then three new balms. Um, so here's the thing. I, I'm tempted to try the Givenchy pink setting powder because I really do enjoy um like a cool tone pink setting powder for me and my cool undertones that works out really well um blushes in this type of compact though I find to be a little bit harder to maneuver and manipulate on my face I can see how like the shades all mixed together could be really beautiful but I just it's just not my favorite um, like way to apply it as far as like it being in a loose compact. It's not my favorite to have to like dump it out. I would so much rather a cream blush, a liquid blush, or if I'm going to use a powder blush, have it be in a palette or in a single compact. I just know myself and I don't think I'm going to get great use out of that. And then the balms, um, none of the shades are something that I'm like super, super interested in. If I was interested in one, it would be the lightest purple shade. But even then I have, um, Lawless came out with a like lilac -y purple, uh, gloss earlier this year. And I have that. So as far as that goes, I'm pretty set. So Too Faced released their Cosmic Crush collection, or maybe they are releasing it soon. Okay, excuse me, they're releasing it soon. So this is going to include an eyeshadow palette that's going to have 16 metallic matte and shimmer shades, and it's gonna retail for $52. Um, and then there are a couple of highlighters that are gonna retail for $36. And then there is a new um, Maximum Plump Lip Gloss, one of their injection one, lip injections, and that's gonna retail for $33. So I got the Italian Spritz palette earlier this year. I love that palette. I actually just talked about it or at this point, you'll see the video later this week. Um, but I'll be talking about their Italian Spritz palette as like one of my summer favorites. And it comes in that tin packaging. I enjoy this color story. I enjoy the pops of purple and the little bits of coral. I enjoy that there's depth there. My nervousness comes <laughs> in that I have heard really mixed reviews about their palettes that don't come in the tin packaging. I do admittedly have, I think it's the Born This Way palette that comes in, I think, similar packaging to this. And it's very, very neutral and I do enjoy it. It's not like an absolute favorite must have, but I do enjoy it. There's a place for it in my collection. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know. Too Faced is also really tough for me because with the exception of the Italian Spritz palette, typically their palettes and products can be found at TJ Maxx really quickly. They can be found discounted really quickly. So it's like one of those where I'm a little bit hesitant to spend full price on any of their products because I'm so scared that they're literally going to have it like for half off two weeks later. You know what I mean? So while I, I enjoy the color story, I think it's pretty. I don't know that the palette is like a must have for me right now. And if I was going to grab something out of this collection, it would definitely be one of the highlighters. And even that I'm not sure. I think this is for me, this is a collection that I need to see other people like get in PR and then talk about before I'm going to like spend my hard earned money on it. That was everything as far as new makeup releases go. I feel like we had a couple of interesting things. I think the most exciting thing for me was um that smashbox foundation and then the blend bunny palette and the glam light rick and morty palette 
we saw some odd things we saw some cool things so um let me know what you think of these new makeup releases let me know if you were going to pick any of these up thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up i would love it so much if you would subscribe to my channel down below as always please stay happy stay healthy and stay blessed and i will see you on the next video bye